I finally finished this small project and I have to say I'm absolutely delighted with the way it's turned out. The sound is neutral and adds nothing to the signal which is exactly what I wanted, just gain. Let me show you inside. It really couldn't be any simpler than this. The only thing that I haven't quite finished yet, where the mains lead comes in, I've just put a knot here because I've run out of the little cable clamps that um, grip the mains cable. This is the input and this is the output. It comes in through these phonos and goes straight to this 50k log stereo potentiometer. From there it comes out and goes into the input here. It comes out here and goes straight to these phonos. This is the power in. It uses 15 volts plus and 15 volts minus, which it gets from this power supply, which I showed you in the previous video. This is the front panel, and all that's on there is two green LEDs. One, volt, uh, one LED monitors the plus volts, and one LED monitors the negative volts, and they literally just connect and they are directly connected under the PCB where the power comes in. Obviously you can't connect an LED straight to 15 volts, so in series with each one there's a resistor under this piece of heat shrink. And believe it or not, they're 51k resistors. There's no on-off switch on this. The whole thing uses one and a, one and a half watts and it will be on all the time I'm in the workshop, so putting a switch on it. Well, there's another good reason. I hadn't got any. <laughs> I may add an on-off switch in the future, but what I'm going to do is play your piece of music. Play the file directly onto my video editing software. So that's the original file. And then I'm going to pass it through the preamp and capture it again on the computer and then drop that file in so I can make an AB comparison. So what I've decided to do is when it's playing the direct file, the picture I'm going to show you will show the LEDs out and when we're going via the preamp it will show the LEDs lit. That's the easiest way to show the two. Now I'm going to adjust the volume pot on here so that the levels are as near level as I can get them. But when you're making any judge, judgment on this, if one is slightly louder than the other, I know it's hard to say ignore it because louder always sounds better, as we know. And I'm, I'm hoping you won't be able to detect any audible difference. Otherwise, all the things I've been telling you for the last three years go out the window.